Hi friend, in this video we'll take a look at how to model this scene here. So we'll model one of the pots here and I'll show you how to model the other one. So you can create this pot and the plants. We'll also model the leaves and we'll create a hair system so that you can generate the leaves onto a stem. We'll also light it and shade it for you to have a nice render like this at the end. Now, if you want to follow along in this tutorial, you can download the project file to use in your projects and have a look at how this scene is built. And at that same link, I've got a shortcut cheat sheet, which will help you learn some of the shortcuts that we use in this tutorial, which we use quite a few. All right, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So with a new Blender document, I can just use A and X to delete everything. And the first thing I'm going to start with is a leaf. So let's go shift A to bring up our add menu. Let's go to mesh and add in a plane. Now we can tab into edit mode and I want to move this on the Y axis just a little bit. So we'll go Y or G, Y, we'll move it on the Y axis and I can just press one on the keyboard and then apply that with the left click. Now what I can do is go control R, and I'm going to add in two loop cuts along the X axis and that way we have three faces here and now I can press and select these two vertices here and I'm going to scale them down and we'll just start scaling We'll just scale this into a shape that starts to look like a leaf. Now I'm going to go control R and add a loop cut down this center and apply that. Now what I want to do is go three for face select, select these two faces, go up to here to turn on proportional editing. I just want to go G and Z and move this up. I can use my mouse wheel to change how much. Just move it up a little bit and then I'll select these two ends, maybe grab these two with edge select, just move it up a little bit like so. And I can grab this one here and move that down. So now we've got this leaf shape here. Now in object mode, I can go to my modifiers tab, add a modifier. Let's add a solidify modifier here. We'll just push up the size of this a little bit. 0.08 meters. Now I'll add a second modifier and that'll be our subdivision surface. So that'll round it out nice for us. So let's add the levels of viewport. Put that up to two and I can right click this and shade this smooth. Now that we've got this shape, if I tab into edit mode and have a look at it, I can start editing this leaf. And so we can do all sorts of edits to this. If we grabbed the edges here and scaled along the X. We could make this extremely wide like this. We could also turn off proportional editing. You can use O to do that. So we can make all sorts of different shapes by doing this. I'm just going to make a shape like this. Now I want to grab these two here. And what I'm going to do is go control B and this will bevel it and I just want to use my scroll wheel to add an extra one in the center there and now what I can do is press 1 for vertex select and if I double press G by selecting this one here I can slide it along the edge now before I do that I want to make sure that I have got merge turned on so I want to merge this vertice with the end one here so press double G push it to the end, click to apply, and now this is one vertice. If I press two, I'm going to select all these edges here, and I'm going to turn on proportional editing again with O, and now what I can do is go GZ, scale this down, and lift up this bit here. If I tab out, now we're getting this crease in the center of the leaf. Now I want to scale this end bit in a little bit. I want to make it 
nice and small so that the crease ends nice and small here. And the last thing I want to do is actually extrude this. So if I press 3 on my number pad, you can also use the key just above the tab key if you're on a laptop. And you can move to the right view here, right. And now with those edges selected, we can go E to extrude. We can extrude out that edge here. And I'm just going to scale this on the z-axis just to flatten it out a little bit. So we've got this shape here. If I tab out, or tab into edit mode, go 3, A to select all, turn off proportional editing with O, G, I'm just going to move the end to the little orange dot, the origin. If I tab out now, I can hide this. Let's rename it first, leaf and I can hide it in the outliner. Now let's make our pot. Shift A for the mesh, down to the cylinder here. Tab into edit mode, we're going to go G and Z and we'll press one to move it up one meter. Let's tab out and have a look at this. All right, so in edit mode, what I wanna do is delete the top with face select. X, delete faces. Let's select this bottom one. And we can inset this with I. And inset a little bit. Then we'll X, delete that face. If I press two for edge select and Alt click this edge here, it'll select the loop. And I can go face and I wanna go down to grid fill. And so that has filled our shape. Now we can edit the shape of this pot. If I press one, Look on it straight on, hold down Z and we go to our wireframe view here. If I select all the bottom here, I can scale down the base here. Now what I want to do is go back into solid view. Let's go Alt Z for X-ray mode here. And now we can add some modifiers. So we'll add a solidify modifier. We'll bump that up. And we'll also add a subdivision surface modifier and we'll bump that up to two as well. Now, if I go out of X-ray mode, let's click out of it. Right click, shade smooth. You can see we've got the shape of our pot, but I wanna make some adjustments to this shape. So if I tab into edit mode, I can go control R and add in some loop cuts, which will just help add a little bit of an edge around our pot. So I'm pretty happy with this pot. So I'll call this pot. And now we can start to add our stem. So if we go shift A to the curve here, we wanna use a bezier curve and add that in. Let's go one on our keyboard to look straight on. Now let's tab into edit mode and we'll grab this and move it up. Then I'll rotate it by 90. So I can just press R and type 90. And then I just wanna move this into place. And so now we've got this little bit of a curve that we can adjust like so. Now what I wanna do is add some geometry to the curve. So we'll go to our object data properties down here and we'll go to the geometry. We'll add some depth to it. So it'll add some width like so. Now I don't wanna fill the caps. So we'll keep it like that. We'll add a bit of depth. Now if I tab into edit mode and select this top vertice here, press N on the keyboard. It'll bring up my transform panel over here. And I can just dial the radius of the tip down just a little bit like that. So that it tapers off. Let's tab out. Now we wanna turn this into a mesh as we can't add the hair particle system onto a curve. So let's go to object down to convert and we'll convert this to a mesh. So now we've got our particles here and we can go and add a new particle system. First thing we need to do is change it to hair 
Now this looks very, very crazy. So let's drop the number down to something like 80. We can also change the seed, which will change the randomness of it and give you a new look. And we'll adjust this later once we actually have the leaves connected. Now what I'm going to do is go to render and let's go to path, change it to an object. And down here we want to change the instance object to the leaf. So now we've got our leaves for our particle system. I want to turn off object scale and I also want to scale this up a little bit here so I can do that under the render scale here. And you can change the scale randomness by changing this value here. Now what I want to do is check advanced and we'll go down to rotation, turn rotation on and we'll change this velocity to normal and tangent. So that'll face the leaves in the right direction. I also want to change a little bit of the randomness so that it, the leaves aren't so straight. Now I'm going to bump up the scale and the scale randomness. Now up here you can change the number of leaves. You can push that up or down. You can also change the seed which will just randomize where the leaves are spawned. I'm going to move this up out of the pot. We've got something that looks like this. So now I want to add in some soil. So let's go shift A, mesh. Let's add in a UV sphere. We'll tab into edit mode and we'll just move this up and scale this on the Z axis and just move it up under there like so. And now we've got our soil, the pot and of course the plants. Now we can edit this by tapping into edit mode and moving this around. So because this is no longer a curve, what I can do is just go into wireframe mode, select the top, press on O for proportional editing and I can just grab this, scroll this up. So we'll move it around like this and we can rotate it and adjust it this way. Let's tab out, go back to solid view and have a look at this. Now I want to drop the number of leaves, something like that. Let's shade this smooth. And now we're good to start rendering out a scene. So let's add in a plane. Let's scale the plane up nice and big. Let's add in a camera. And I want to just adjust the X rotation of the camera to 45, the Y to zero and the Z to 45. And we'll just move this up. Uh, 10, move it in the Y, 10, and move it on the Z, 10. That way we've got our camera sitting up here. We want to go to our camera settings and change the perspective to orthographic. Now if I press zero on my number pad, I can actually edit the camera here. So if I press zero on my number pad, I can edit the camera. So let's go G and Z to move it up. Let's go R and press X twice to rotate this. Now we're rotating around the camera's axis. So what I want to do here is actually rotate around the 3D cursor, which is this here. So R, X, X, we can rotate it down so it's nice and low. We want to change the orthographic scale, zoom out a bit, and now we can use G and Z. Move that camera up. Now let's change to material preview mode and we'll start adding some materials. So this pot here, let's add a white and I'm going to just drop the roughness all the way down. It gives a little bit of a shine on the edge. Let's add in our leaves and we'll pick a green color for this. This is our stem currently. Let's grab our leaves in our scene collection here and add in a 
color. And we'll add in the soil color material here and just change the base color to like a brown. Now let's turn on our scene lights and scene world. I'm going to select the bottom plane and add a material to this and just call this plane. And I just want to add a slight blue to this. Now we haven't got color or lighting yet. So let's add in some lights. Shift A, let's add in an area light. I'm just going to move this up. Let's move our back to the medium point up here. And let's scale it up. Let's go 1500 watts on the power. Rotate on, let's go back to our 3D cursor. We'll rotate around here. I'll put it there. Let's go somewhere there. Let's shift D to duplicate this one. Rotate it to the other side. I want to scale this one so it's nice and thin. And we'll drop the power of this one at about 750 watts. And that'll just add in a nice fill light into the opposite side. And you could add, start adding some colors to these lights if you would like. I'm going to change the color of the plane. Let's go a little bit of blue. I want to also go to my world properties here and I'm going to add in some color. So change the color to the center here and we'll make it white. And I'll just go something like 0.5 strength. Maybe we could drop it a little bit more. Shift A and add in a point light. And this one I want to go directly behind from the camera. So we'll adjust this. So we'll change it to 150 watts. Change the radius nice and big. And we'll go back into our camera view zero. Move this behind. And we just want this to wrap around the edge a little bit. So if we adjust 250, the light will wrap around. Now let's change into rendered view here. And we'll change our setting to cycles. Change the device to a GPU if you have one. I'm going to go experimental, just a slightly little bit faster. Let's change the denoise off. I'm going to change the samples to 512. And have a look at it. And now you could render it out from here. You could also make more adjustments to the scene. So one thing I want to do is add a little bit more blue into the floor. Once you're ready, you can render that out. But there you go, that's our pot. If you want to make a different shaped pot, what you can do is just duplicate this one here. So if we go back into solid view here, Shift D, we'll move it along the X here. And if I go into edit mode and or I scale it down in object mode first, let's change it back to medium point. Scale it down and now what I can do is object apply the scale tab into edit mode and I just want to make a few edits so let's grab this loop we'll press double G turn off proportional editing press G twice slide it down we can go three for face select alt click this loop here and you can go alt E and extrude along the normals like so we can add a loop cut in here with control r a loop cut up there with control r we want to delete this here so we'll x delete that ring there and we'll add a loop cut in there and you can just press control b to bevel that and use your scroll wheel to just add in two bevel or one bevel here and you can also adjust 
the solidify so it's not so intense and there you go you have a different shaped pot and you can tweak this by scaling different areas of the pot like this you could have a base that comes out like that and the solidify will create a rounded shape now we use a lot of shortcuts in this tutorial so remember to download the shortcut cheat sheet down below I'll be sure to get the latest version of that shortcut cheat sheet uploaded so you can use it also you can download this project file to have a play around with and use in your own projects all right until next time I'll see you later